Lib003 is a anti-PCSK9 small binding protein. It consists of a highly potent, very small protein, which is derived from fibronectin, a protein commonly found in the body that binds cells together, where the binding arms have been changed so that they're targeted to bind to PCSK9. The Protein is only 11 kilodalton, so given by itself, it would be rapidly cleared through the kidney. So in order to keep it in the bloodstream, it needs what is called a PK extender so that you can extend the half-life. And so it's been fused to human serum albumin, which is 66 kilodaltons, to make a 77 kilodalton protein that now has a half-life in the bloodstream similar to a monoclonal antibody of about 12 to 15 days. We selected the 300 milligram dose, an LDL reduction of 65, 64% at week 52. Now remember this is, there's no placebo, so it's not placebo adjusted. So it was consistent with the reductions that we saw with 300 milligrams in the phase two 12 week placebo controlled trial. We also saw a consistent suppression of PCSK9 at trough, in other words, before the next dose was due at over 80%. And we also saw similar reductions, just under 50% decrease in ApoB and uh, over 30% reduction in LP little a, consistent with what we would ex expect in a, a more potent um, LDL reducing Drug. While we do see low levels of anti-drug antibodies, which is not unexpected with a protein that's commonly found in the body, such as fibronectin, um, there were no effects at all on suppression of PCSK9 or on uh, LDL reduction. There is a need for greater LDL efficacy, as you know, the uh, EAS and ESC guidelines now lower the goal for LDL in very high-risk patients to less than 55. And in fact, in those patients who have a second event within a year, uh, they now suggest an LDL less than 40. So there is an additional need for more effective agents and for achieving greater LDL reduction and getting more patients to go.